was the time then, Somebody's too. always trying to put people back in a cage. There's always somebody. There's always a group that's working toward it. This is not a secret. Yeah. If we just pay attention. And right now, what struck me so hard, we're beginning to flirt with control of the people. If we allow it, it will become that. Right now, most of us are still doing what we're doing because it's voluntary. And I'm all about it. Right. I'm all about it. Right. But when you tell me what I can't do, what I can do, and you're violating that document that I fucking bled for, that I suffer for every day today, in some way, shape, or form, it's always knocking at me. The demons, the Marine colonel told me were installed in me by Taliban, by the evil terrorists of the world. There's really, truly evil people. I want to know who's going out, who's willing to take the step. If the ban is not lifted, if the stay-at-home order is not lifted, or they delay it, if it does not end April 30th, who's going out? Who's doing stuff? Who's starting to take freedom back? I am. Joe's, he's probably my, my top man crush. Probably my top. I got a good handful of feet. Of feet. Just handful of feet. I do not have a hammer toe. I have two hammer toes on each foot. Straight, I just like bring in light on real issues and then I'll uh I'll throw some gas on it no matter if it's true or not and we'll see what happens. I think it's fun that way. Let me lower that down for you. No. Your your what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, her her phone died yesterday. We have a we have that lower the Good. Yeah, there's definitely some things to talk about. There are, there are occurrences happening in the country. There are political happenings. There are civil happenings. And if we're not paying attention, we're going to get duped. We're going to get taken advantage of. Ronald Reagan said we have to fight for it in the streets. Wasn't it him? Was it him who said we had to fight for it in the streets? While the old Adam fruitlessly attempts to look that up because I couldn't remember it, I did later find it. And this is what Ronald Reagan said. In 1967, when he was taking office as the governor of California for the first time, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States of America when men were free. Okay, back to the show. Oh, I wish it was Reagan. It wasn't, no, this is not the one. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Wow. Thomas Jefferson, one more time. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. And I'm not going to say that we're headed toward a civil war. That's, that, that's a little premature. But I will say. You lowered my mic. Did I? <laughs> you did. Oh, I think it fell. Mm -hmm. It's those, those, yeah. the dials aren't as tight as they used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. California's talking. They're, they're, they're going to keep their people inside for, for months and months into the fall. Potentially California has also discussed canceling or delaying the start of the NFL season in August. Guys, look all these facts up. I'm just the incendiary, incendiary spark. An instigator is someone or something that makes something happen. All I'm trying to do is make awakeness happen, make alertness happen. We can't get distracted, even though this is a time. The main event can always become the distraction. It can always become the distraction. Right now, it's, it's being used as that, but they're talking about delaying the NFL season. They're talking about keeping people on higher level restrictions into the fall. We got to look it up. I don't live in California. I saw a headline, but I don't think anybody comes here for the facts. Currently at Home Depot, you cannot buy these gardening supplies or mulch for your own yard. And you cannot buy any flooring. And because the cardboard boxes I need are in the flooring department, I cannot buy them. We are being put out of business. Is this the Twilight Zone? Who is that? I don't know. It's got 692 shares. Gary Fialco, who is that? Who knows this guy? Where's he from? Milford, Michigan. Yeah. <clears throat> who
Who sent you this? Is she, is she here? She probably knows them. No, I don't think she's on yet. They have aisles blocked off so you can't purchase. Yes, I looked at... There you go. That's a good one. In Michigan. I'm not in the microphone. All right. In Michigan. Something to pay attention to. This is illegal, you guys. It's not only illegal, it's unconstitutional, it's un-American, it's unethical, and if we let stuff get out of hand, it's going to get out of hand. Weren't you guys just extended till the 30th from the 15th? Everybody was. Everybody. Everybody? Because mm -hmm. that's what CDC said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the 15th to, to the 30th. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody? Because that's what CDC said? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Here's to the 30th. Okay. That's so obnoxious. That's more annoying than ice in your cup. Just saying. I think we're going to go to that store today or in the next couple days and get... Are we going to get a shotgun first or a semi-automatic? Uh, the purpose of all that, Denise. Control. Control. What am I trying to say about whatever the Home Depot deal? Part of it might be they don't want you going out and buying stuff <clears throat> that you don't need. Panic. You're, toilet well, paper, no. Right? Like, that was ridiculous. But they're not forbidding you to buy toilet paper. They don't want you buying gardening supplies and flooring because they don't want you unnecessarily going out to get stuff to do a project at home because you're stuck at home. It's not a necessity. See how reasonable and because, that sounds? Yeah, because everyone's home, they're going to find stuff to do, and they don't want you going out and buying those things. What's your take on that? It's dumb. All I know is that these, regardless of intentions or not, these are things that take us from freedom down the path to bondage. That's all I know. That's all I know. Should we do it? Is it smart? Is it reasonable? Yeah, probably. Is it safe? Yeah. We want to start letting our kids hang out with the neighbors. And I, we, we, you try to drop the fishing line in the pond and see if there's any nibbles. And so far, like, I think people are still pretty scared to do that. And here, if you're strong and healthy and you're not showing any symptoms, but you can also be a carrier, should we not be able to hang out amongst ourselves the same way that basically the most extreme version of that is the family hanging out, staying together. Like why, why shouldn't every human be separated by six feet? You know what I mean? So in other words, if the kids in the backyard across the yard don't have anything going on, the family has nothing going on. We've all been quarantined for three to four weeks. Why not start? Why not start reintegrating? What do you guys think about that? Reintegrating. I don't know. Again, I told you I'm, I'm definitely, I I'm, I'm bent toward, the aggressive side and to see what happens. I'm bent toward that. I'd rather die in a field of a disease than die healthy of old age in a cage. That's me. That is me. Every great movie we want. Yeah, but we might die, William Wallace. Yeah. And then we run and you'll live for a while, is what he said. And you'll die alone and cowardice knowing you're full of regret. That's a little bit different. We're not, we're not fighting anybody yet. But all I know is that my mind stays there. And I'm always waiting and sniffing and seeing who's up to something to take the freedom away. And the people I look at are politicians. I don't know. As fast as Trump wants to reopen the country, I don't see him standing for that. Well, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't care about the letter behind your name. But that's why, that's why he gave the power to the states because of the constitution and issues. now I, I think that's i think it's great to decentralize power I'm, I'm a big fan of that at that point now you have 50 potential megalomaniacs yeah but look at look at what well, look at what she did when that whole vaping thing happened the governor up there what'd she do she banned all vaping yeah in they Michigan. say she's nuts right she's well, supposed to be a little bit nuts wasn't her son doing it like someone correct me if i'm wrong that's what my mom told me her son or child was vaping and it like caused her to freak out so she banned all the vaping stuff the legal vaping stuff that was there when people were dying of the black market crap that they mixed wrong that they were buying 
I don't know. She just seems very emotional to me. Ah, like super acts on emotion. Yeah. Well, that's, that's and the fear. antithesis of what you want in a leader. <laughs> I watched my first uh, broadcast of him the other night, didn't I? Who? Trump. Oh, a little bit. You didn't even watch that much of it. Yeah. Right, I watched a little bit of it. I think that was the only, well, that was the most decent press conference the, that I've seen so far as far as what questions were Okay, asked. maybe that's what it was too. Because yeah. I, I asked you, a, I'm like, are, are the questions always antagonistic? Are they just accusatory all the time? Because that's what I usually hear. And that's the big reason I don't watch it. Nicole's laughing her butt off. <laughs> no, I just, I just found some Corona premium actually a couple days ago. Kim throwing stars and grenades. Yes, I am oh, totally really? with you. <laughs> yeah. Did you find it? Yes. Yeah. She bought them. She, she's the enabler. I would definitely not be having a Corona at 11 today if we weren't on this live. Or if we were on a cruise. We would, we would be doing it if we were on a cruise. Uh, yeah, we would be doing it. You yeah. would be leading the way on the cruise. Yeah. Let's see. Time and place. I might show you things. I might talk about things. But I'm telling you guys, it's all, it's like, it's so moderate compared to how deep and devious she goes. It is not. It is so moderate. Everything you see is all I am. Like, that's it. There, there's no, it doesn't like go from this and then I'm throwing down a bottle of Jack you know, while the kids are trying to do their homeschooling and, and I'm hitting them in the back of the head with newspapers and staplers. Staplers. Yeah. See, yeah, my mom says that's what she was told, but it was eventually turned over. Yeah, because people aren't going to stand for that crap. Cause, yeah, Christina doesn't throw fluff like me. That's got to no, be real. No, she doesn't. It probably has to be real. She, yeah. Do morning. you know that guy, Christina? Mm -hmm. Gary in Milford? Is that your uncle? Is that your <laughs> uncle Gary? You know what I say to that? What do you say? Bill Gates can E-A-D. Is that? Let me whisper it to you. Electronic don't say, don't Arts Division. Stop it. You know what that EA means. EA Sports. You know, it's, you know what that means. Is he the owner of EA Sports? He created Madden. No. Madden. Is that EA Sports? I think it is. <clears throat> E-A-D. Uh -huh. This guy posted. Oh, Denise. <laughs> I don't. What? What? <laughs> What's EAD? Eat a donut. Four letter word. That's not appropriate. What do you mean? Not? So, is, is it not? So this is we're, funny. Like this, this doctor. I'll drink to that. Posted great news. We've eradicated pneumonia and the flu because all cases suspected to be COVID-19, the people that die are given the reason of coronavirus on their death certificate. Even though they haven't tested positive, if they come in with pneumonia or the flu and they die, they're counting it as COVID numbers. They're using so, panic to take control so, again. So on this chart, yeah, we, we've had no pneumonia and flu deaths like in the last week at least. So that's great news. Your phone came on. It did. Were you scamming me last night? No, Addison. She's like, let's go shop for a new phone. No, no. See, I need the iPhone 13 quadruple X. No, a while ago. No. So anyway, I was talking to my sister, <clears throat> who many of you know, who is an ICU nurse. And initially she was saying, you know, before she went in or whatever, that, you know, people staying home and it being contagious. And like, they did have a younger person in the ICU who's my age, which has been the only one, by the way, everybody else has been maybe a couple 40 year olds, fifties, but mainly like 60 and older, um, for the majority. So, you know, when she came out, like after a few days of working, she was extremely frustrated because she was having these patients come in and they put them on these ventilators and they max them out and it's not helping. And she's like, I don't understand. Like if they have pneumonia, why isn't the ventilator working? Like we should be able to be pulling people and weaning them from the vents and having them get better, but they're not getting better. Like we're watching them die. They need dialysis. They have to get started on dialysis. Their organs start going into failure. Like it, it's, she's like, it's like they're septic, but not like it's, she's like, it's the weirdest thing. And, and she was just so frustrated about it. So like a week and a half later, which was recently, maybe two weeks later. Thank yeah. You. So anyway, instead of, instead of it attacking your lungs, it enters through your red blood cells and then it, it strips, 
I don't, I don't know, read the article. It's very scientific, but I believe it strips your blood, your red blood cell of the iron ion. So the oxygen that you take in cannot attach to the red blood cell to get carried throughout your body. Right. And then what happens is because your iron ion is separated from your red blood cell, you can't have too much of that in your blood at one time either. So you, that becomes toxic levels. And then you're not getting oxygen <clears throat> to your organs and the rest of your body like you should be. So it's basically suffocating you from the inside oh, yeah, out. But that's, that's why the hydrochloric, the hydrochloroquine's working um, because malaria enters the same way through the red blood cell. So by administering the medication, you're blocking the virus from entering the red blood cell. So that's, that's why, even though they're two totally different diseases, that's why that medication is working for both. So you're going to tell me that came from a bat. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, Nicole. I do believe that it is. What is what? Um, she said that's absolutely horrible. Have you guys heard or read any articles that say that this is potentially a man-made virus? Yeah. So when this yes. actually started in China and started trickling here and the president closed the borders, even though people were telling him not to, and now they're saying he didn't do it early enough. <laughs> but um, I think it'd be fun to talk about the different <laughs> ways people envision mm. Easter. That's a touchy one, depending on the denomination or the specific faith that you have of Christianity. So who all does Easter baskets for their kids? Yeah, we'll start with the real light one and hyper-controversial <laughs> for emotional moms and dads. Oof, Easter baskets, Easter bunny. We haven't done it in years. Probably, well, yeah. Years. Yeah. Our boys have Why never not? grown up with the Easter bunny visiting no. here. no. And Gage, Gage said, um, when we were talking about Easter the other day, I go, yeah, I go, I'm going to put a turkey because when all this craziness was happening, I bought a small turkey because I have actually stuffing in the freezer that I didn't make for Thanksgiving that's frozen. So I'm like, I'll make a turkey. I'll stuff it. You know, we'll have a good dinner, whatever. And Gage <laughs> perks up and he goes, we should try rabbit on Easter. <laughs> like because of the Easter did, bunny. Did he, yeah. did he say rabbit or bunny? Oh, it might've been bunny. I thought he said bunny. Yeah. Rabbit or bunny whatever it was just funny. A bunny <laughs> it was just funny good morning linda I, I love that she said linda is watching <laughs> oh i don't know it, she oh, yeah. she typed that gotcha. i think it's great medulla oblongata jeez oh pete's that's what i get for starting my day with with the corona with the corona um, so yeah we're, we're celebrating good friday in corona fashion and that's that's one little small way of me sticking it to the virus. I was saying something that mattered there, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, we're not going to tolerate it. People are going to begin moving out. People are going to begin moving out. So, Him first. Oh, look at what Justin's saying. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a trailblazer here. This isn't radical. No. Michigan businesses are already banding together to open up for business. I've heard that about Rabbit, Tim. Yes. Gamey. Yes. And I'm not even... Justin's going to have to send us some smoked meat. So they're banding together to open up for business. And then watch what happens. The government then gets pushed into their corner, volleyed back on their side of the court, and now they get to make the move. And what's the move? Do we force or do we not force? Because now you're in direct violation of the Constitution, using the military against its own people, even if it's paramilitary and officers. Aren't Cops. people talking about her getting on Biden's ticket for VP? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm All curious. I'm talking about is stuff that we can control. Yeah, but the choices that we make, you know, we can argue all day about, about whether or not voting matters. But I told you every four years, I, I, I'm not voting until like the last day. Then I always end up doing it. But exactly. So violating. I have not had elk. I've heard it's amazing. Joe Rogan raves about it. Um, Joe's, he's probably my, my top man crush. <laughs> probably my top. I got a good handful of feet, <laughs> of feet, just handful of feet. I do not have a hammer toe and all of my toes. I have pretty feet, so it's not gross. You felt the need to say that. I did. <clears throat> I have two hammer toes on each foot. Sure do. I'm at a whole new level. Whole nother level. I want to know who's going out. Who's willing to take the step. If the ban is not lifted, if the stay-at-home order is not lifted, 
or they delay it. If it does not end April 30th, who's going out? Who's doing stuff? Who's starting to take freedom back? I am. And we got to do it like subtly, you know, I, I don't, I'm not into the shock and awe when it comes to uh, pushing boundaries as much. You nudge them. You nudge the boundaries. That's how New York is killing full-term babies at nine months before they're born. Because it's, they started nudging in the 1970s. Started nudging. Once the door's cracked, it can be opened all the way. So we'll do it smart. To keep the alarm down. We don't want to raise the flags. The alarm flags. We're totally going. And we're going to put it on Facebook. And let people know. Because somebody's got to break the mold and take the steps so everybody else can begin following. It's like, if you guys haven't seen Divergent, highly, highly like underrated movie series. Yeah. Hunger Games made it to the Look top. Of, everybody. Hey, hold on Not a minute. Shock and awe. That's you. That's what they're saying. <laughs> that is you. It's all relative. I don't see it as shock and awe. I go as far as my nerves will let me go, and I think it's relatively boundary pushing, but not nearly as radical as there's radical people out there, like radical. I'm not like that. Yeah, Justin, no, I totally agree with you. <clears throat> but yeah, naturally wired to be a rebel, like my sister, for sure, for sure. I've had plenty of roles in my life and times where I've I've played along, as long as I agree. And I can see the rationale. I don't, I don't even have to agree. I'm, that was a joke. But like, if I can see the rationale, I don't have to agree with everything to, to play along. But if I think something's stupid or it's just nonsense, I just, I can't do it. I don't have, yeah. I, I can't do it. I'm not capable. I will end up in jail. I'll end up getting hurt and fined and money taken. We've lived all this stuff. The truth is shocking off. It's true. It's true. You know, if you look at the trial of Jesus that led to Good Friday, and what, he, what the, the witness reports are, what the dialogue was between the authorities that encountered him along each step of the way up through the government officials. If you look, they asked him questions. He did not deny anything, but he did not defend himself very strongly. And he simply, he gave the truth as simply as he could state it and as briefly. And like, they couldn't argue with it. It was logical. It's what it shows. Pontius Pilate, governor of Rome at the time, governing, yeah, the governing authority, not of Rome. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Does the corona have short-term memory effects? <laughs> yeah. I, fi I find no fault, he said. I find no fault. And all the people had already seen CNN's report and MSNBC's report, and some of them even saw Fox's report, and they're like, Crucify him! Kill him! He's a danger. Everybody stay at home. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. Different characters. Slightly different plot lines. But not a whole lot different. Yeah, disruptive, absolutely, Justin. Disruption? I'm all about being disruptive. And in two weeks? No. Oh my gosh, it's only the 10th? How long is April this year? I saw a funny meme that talked about mm -hmm. April being five years long. Yeah. That was funny. But it's true. I'm telling you, in 20 more days, disruption. We're going to the beach. We're going to start doing that stuff beforehand anyway, probably. But th this is getting out of hand. I'm seeing too much stuff. You start shutting down aisles at Home Depot, tell me what I can and cannot buy. You start rationing my food, rationing my supplies, rationing new, 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 new. No way in hell. No way. I went to Costco yesterday. No they, only, they only let me buy one pack of eggs. Usually when I go, I no get way the, in heaven. Why I get the that? double, the two dozen pack of the organic eggs. Yeah. And I usually get three to four of those right. every time I go, which is almost once a week, week and a half, two weeks, somewhere around there. And I can only get one. But it's so funny because you see there was an older couple there who had two carts with a roll of, or a whole package of paper towel in each cart. Yeah. And she's saying, I'm going to go get you this and put this in your cart because they're only allowing one thing per customer. So they're doubling up and then they rung out separate. 
See, they were in line like, next to me. And I can also see the practicality side of a business supply chain limiting because of effects for that reason. their control and yeah. what is available for everybody. Like, I get that. Yeah, but you like, need there, to be there's... able to shop according to family size. Not, I mean, I to go to the store and I need tuna, which we all eat, me, Adam, Gavin, Grayson, I have four cans. I usually get like eight or ten that last us a week. Oh, sorry, Miss, you can only get four. Oh, okay, I guess one for each kid then. Why should it be the same for a single person than it is for a family of six? All I know is you got to do the best you can to take care of you and yours and those around you and, and treat other people as best we can out in society. We have to, we have to push on that as hard as possible and at the same time not let the government control us in the way that they're beginning to control. Freedom is not the natural state of humanity. It has to be fought for. It has to be provided with violence. Guys, this is not a discussion. This is a historical fact. Freedom does not occur on its own. If we had anybody in the world today that took our freedom away, that, that claimed our freedom from the British government, the British kingdom, 250 years ago, if it was anybody today and they said, here, Mr. Washington, you can be king of the nation now since you saved us. We'll worship you. And that dude said, no. That's the whole point of this struggle. That's the whole point of the revolution. Which, by the way, only about a third of Americans fought for. Only about a third. Another third fought it and they followed their stay home order because you're a rabble rouser. You are a disruption. Let's just stick with the queen, the king, sorry, King George. He'll take care of us. We'll just tighten our belts a little bit more. We won't have as much tuna. There's not many things that I'm as convicted on as fighting for freedom. Erica, I can't get Clorox wipes either, but do you need me to send you toilet paper? I have a whole 40 pack of single rolls that are individually packaged. I will send you a box if you need toilet paper. Yeah, see, Justin's asking where she Yeah, give too. me freedom or give me death. Yeah. 100%. I will shoot a soldier of martial law in the face. Yeah, you will. See, that's funny because when we, do you remember when you re-enlisted and we moved to Kansas? We were concerned about that when Obama came to office. What happened, what, what was going on with the military though? Something that had us scared about you being in and then them having to make you do that. Or maybe, you know, know, I don't remember either. It, look, there was a time that somebody's too. always trying to put people back in a cage. There's always somebody. There's always a group that's working toward it. This is not a secret. Yeah. If we just pay attention. And right now, what struck me so hard over the last day or two was like, oh my gosh, they're doing it. We're going beyond control or we're going beyond safety and concern. And we're beginning to flirt with control of the people. If we allow it, it will become that. Right now, most of us are still doing what we're doing because it's voluntary. And I'm all about it. Right. I'm all about it. Right. But when you tell me what I can't do, what I can do, and you're violating that document that I fucking bled for, that I suffer for every day today, in some way, shape, or form, it's always knocking at me. The demons that the military colonel told me were installed in me, the Marine colonel told me were installed in me by ISIS, by Taliban, by the evil terrorists of the world. There's really, truly evil people. People are lulled into a false sense of security when it's really a prison. Yes. And Nicole, you- We're trading comfort for freedom 100%. She has seen that firsthand. Yeah. We just have to pay attention. That's what we know. We got to be careful. We got to pay attention. If this thing's doing what it's doing to the bloodstream- it doesn't matter how, I mean, if you get it, you get it. Like, because they say when you get the flu naturally, when you get these illnesses naturally, not only does your body build an immunity to that specific one, but it also builds a, an additional immunity, like in general, like it, it produces something else. Like I, don't, I don't remember. Network. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what it was called. <laughs> That's why we don't do, do facts. I didn't write it down. However, <laughs> but we don't, do we don't do facts. Just emotion. Shoot them up. <laughs> But when you get the shot, it doesn't do that. Like it, it, 
I don't know. It just, I don't know. I got to take that as a sound words. bite. That's going to be so fun. But we, we don't do facts We've here. never had the flu shot. I've We're never had the flu shot. My kids have never had had the flu shot. They don't really get uh, sick a whole lot at all. Uh, no. No one, thank God. Do we hate on people who, who, who vaccinate their family? No. We don't. No. Do people who vaccinate their family hate on those who don't? Yes. They do. Mostly. Why yes. is that? That's so weird. That's so weird. Yeah. I'm mad at nobody. I will not get if they create a, if they it. create a vaccine for this, I will not get it. Tyrants are the only people in my target radar. That's it. Just tyrants. I don't care how you believe differently than me. It is Good Friday. And guys, we we for those of us who share it, we uh we we have to put let's put our emotional focus, our emotional focus and the things that we're thinking about, put them on gratitude this weekend. Spend some time telling family, friends who have ears, if you would, or whatever, wherever you're being led to do it, what Jesus did this weekend, the anniversary of it anyway, and sending gratitude for that. You know, I, I find that gratitude is the number one thing that helps me alleviate anxiety and worry and uh, ungratefulness, crabbiness. Mm -hmm. It's gratitude. And for those who believe this weekend is everything. It's everything. And I, I think it's really important to go with that and spend some time looking at that story. Such a fascinating thing. If we were to see that today on mainstream media, what would have happened or what happened across these three days and what would it would be like today if, if we saw that? We think about it like it's not real, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I say? I don't know. I'm saying it, it like the, the, like Jesus's event, the, the cross, the burial, the resurrection, like if that were to happen today, if we were to see it, yeah, you know, that's it. Love and kindness until I, until I realize you're an enemy of, of humans. Until I realize you are a tyrannical dictator born as the spawn of Satan. Love and kindness for everybody else, pure destructive violence to the others. Zero mercy, but leave that to those of us who are built for it because it's not a lot and it shouldn't be a lot. We don't need a bunch of people with hair triggers toward violence running around the streets. Gotta go. Thanks for hanging out, brother. Ciao. What were you, you, you were going to be, you say what you say what no, you read, no. say what you read to his comment. No. Okay. I'm like, why Justin, did you put that? I G to G. Go ahead. I gotta go. Yep. Yeah. Love y'all. Stay well. Love y'all. Stay well. She skipped the siow. <laughs> siow. Is that what you're going to say? How are you going to say it? Come on, say how you're going to say it. No. Say it. No. Don't. You guys ever seen hors d'oeuvres spelled out? I was 18. I don't want to. 20. Say the word in his comment. Chow. Mm, yeah. You guys ever seen? Oh, you had to look up the status. I, I, I did. Like I, I, I just said it. Yes, I did. I just said it. Because it's a trippy looking word. But if you take a second and realize, oh, maybe that's how it's spelled. Oh my gosh, that word is messed up. That. Yep, that's right. That's how you spell hors d'oeuvres. Tell us. No. Say it. My mom had a coffee shop. Oh, here we go. And I'll do the backstory so you don't feel as bad for her. And we were hanging out and oh my she had gosh. a bulletin board. Just say what you said. And on the bulletin board, there was a flyer with that word on it. And I came back and asked everyone what ours devours was because I didn't know. Anybody know? Anybody we'll wait know for an what answer. Ours devours is. <laughs> please, please call us. It got a 800 really good laugh. Five. Got a really good laugh. Six 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 six. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. Please it's say it. I need ours, to laugh. That was it. Devours. Ours devours. <laughs> Come on. She's had a history of this. This is part of her charm, actually. I love it. It's very cute. It is like the laughing that comes is a blessing from that because you can't stage that. Yes. We were sitting on the couch the other night getting ready to watch Divergent. And, of, you know, you're in house of all, watch of, all, of all boys. So we're sitting there and it's me, Gage, and Gavin, and Adam's up doing something. And I'm like, hey, can you guys do this? And I put my arm under my shirt and my armpit. And I'm like doing the farting noise. <laughs> I think I'm all cool. And Gavin's like, oh, yeah, you want to see what I can do? So he goes on the floor. Do it. Do it. I can't do, do it. Do it. 
But so he goes on the floor and hold he on, lay, lays on. on his back. Hold on. They need entertainment. This is going to be funny. It's okay. We're talking about the armpit farting that mom did. We need you to do a demo. So, so go ahead. Continue the story, Nick. So he's like, oh, look what I can do. So he gets on the floor and he lays down. Go ahead, Gavin. Go ahead. On his back. Go ahead, Gav. So this is what he does. Go ahead. Go ahead, Gav. He's embarrassed. Good. Don't be embarrassed. Do it. Do it. Go. Get the microphone down there. Do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that's what he. <laughs> so great so that's what he did thanks buddy that movement there on his back thanks buddy and he made the farting sounds um Jeez. with his hands behind his knees but it was like super fast and it was like a freaking song and i laughed it was like so hard and then gage got down there yeah yeah and then gage got down there and did it too and he was able to do it and it was just hysterical because here i am I'm like hey guys this is funny can you do this and then like on steroids they can do it she says, so truth time, which one of you passed that gene on to him? That. I don't know. It's different because I didn't have the courage that he has. And I still don't. He, he's built differently than me. And he's got stuff in him that he's, uh, I always tell him he's a better man than me. He's a younger man, but he's, uh, he came through my lineage. So I got to play a part. Can't wait. Let me see what I can find for you guys. Yes, please. It's uh that that's the mission. The mission is family lifestyle brand. We're gonna we're in the process of finalizing, like putting together core values and what we stand for on that, and then just creating things that came out of our life to give it to people who would want it. That's it. And I, when we say give, what I mean is they're gonna have to pay us. There's gonna be plenty of free stuff. But we're definitely moving into monetizing K6 and supporting ourselves in that way now that we believe we're ready to be a beacon like that. And uh, that's it. We want to support ourselves and our family through that so we can be a stronger pillar for others. Because when you have a job and you're dependent on that or a business that's dependent on, on being in front of people, you're seeing what's happening right now. There's a real danger to that. And there's a risk. I mean, if the internet goes down, there goes that business. Like we'd have to find another way because we want to use the internet as the vehicle, but there, there's a lot of risk to being financially reliant on an outside source of any kind. It's just, it's just more risky and we want to be able to get rid of that so we can stay strong and continue to lead the way we believe that God wants us to lead. You know, if we can work a win-win arrangement and we're even allowing, you know, we're, we're even considering like sales off of webinars or, or products or courses that come down the road in terms of being able to pay people that would agree with the mission. First of all, they'd probably want to play a part in the mission and like, honestly, probably volunteer a little bit at first or take small amounts of money. And, you know, I'm not talking 20 bucks, but there, there's money there, you know, depending on what the thing is, but being part of the mission and then having the long-term vision to uh, let the financial reward blessing come on to that later as we build that up because it's, it's all been a progression. And that's where it's going. Instigation Nation, I'll, I will say this, it's getting a total complete, it's, it's shifting directions complete. It's not shifting directions. It's actually getting more focused into what it was supposed to be, more leadership-based slash faith-based, but very much faith-founded uh, and then some leadership stuff out of that, basically about how to be a better human and a better leader in your life. That'll be that. And then the podcast that is Instigation Nation will become this new brand and we're going to keep the episodes there because it's still who we are. And, but the, the focus has come. The focus has come. We've been working on this. I've been praying and meditating on this for four years, waiting for the time. Two years ago, it got more clear, but not clear enough. And now we have a lot of clarity as we're moving forward. And that's, that's where that is. Much more to come. And it's going to be coming very soon. We're not waiting. So there will be things coming out in the next month or two. So outside of that, 11 a.m. every single day. We had some fun today. Outside of that, nobody's got anything else. 11 a.m. Stay awake, guys. Stay awake. Don't let them lull you to sleep under the, under the disguise of safety. Be smart. Be safe. Take care of yourself and your family. But don't, know, don't let anybody put you in handcuffs.
Don't let anybody put you in a cage. Tomorrow, 11 a.m., we'll be back.